Virgin Galactic, a step yes. closer to sending uh, tourists up to space. Yeah, you know, look, this race is really heating up. We talked about it a few weeks ago with Blue Origin announcing they were looking for July 20th or 21st here for their first launch. Uh, Virgin Galactic has had really the only company focused on just tourism. Uh, so far, their previous flights have only centered out of California, the Mojave Desert, but they have they have always had a second port in New Mexico. Uh, and this is where they've launched for their third time, first time from New Mexico. And this is really a big step because what Virgin Galactic really wants is just like Virgin Airlines serving multiple cities and locations, multiple people, people going up. And they're really trying to push to get their first commercial flight into operation by this little jet plane that we see taking right. off on our screens right now. If someone signs up, did they have to sign a waiver saying, look, you might not come back from this? Well, look, and this is actually one of the big issues people have to solve is, you know, just like with, uh, say, any airline, they're, what are the carriage of responsibilities? They're transporting the people into space, but are they necessarily responsible for what may happen afterwards? Mm. And it's really getting into quite literally uncharted territory. There are some obligations but there are a lot of waivers that say, not only if something happens in space, but what happens if they get sick or they don't adapt well to it right. and they come back down and have a health problem. It's actually something big that uh, the Australian medical community is actually looking at is how do we treat future space tourists?